before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and I do appreciate you being here. Today, I bring you another Apex Legends video. And today, guys, I bring you all the details on the latest update to the game, including, guys, a bug that's restarting or resetting ranks and deleting all which people have unlocked. So firstly guys, I recommend you holding off on updating the game while they get things sorted. Their Twitter account can be found linked within the video description. I recommend you follow it uh, just to keep up to date for when they get this uh, bug fixed. But in terms of the update itself, what's been added and what's been changed? Quality of life. Added the ability to party up with the last squad you played with. After the match, you will see buttons in the lobby area that display the last two people you played with and you can invite them to your squad. You can choose to allow invites or opt out in the friends menu. Additional behind the scenes improvements for squashing cheaters. Added mute button during the intro and legend selection. When using the report player button for PC, you now have the option of selecting cheat or other. Added option to turn off lighting on compatible hardware, for example, Razer Chroma devices in the mouse keyboard settings. Added informative messages that appear on PC for crashes due to running out of memory, CPU errors best explained by overclocking overheating. Added better collision to the turrets on supply ships. Stability fixes to all platforms. Bug fixes. Fixed issue where the Battle Pass rewards page would not have a default item selected resulting in a mostly blank page. Fixed bug for PS4 and Xbox One where sometimes attempting to use a keyboard to chat could cause a fatal script error. Fixed bug with banner cards not showing up during and at the end of a match. Jump pad phase walk interactions. Octane's jump pad no longer affects players when using into the void ability. So not a massive update, some great changes though. I am definitely digging the option to invite the last two players you played with if you do play in a team with randoms and you do good. I think that's a great, great addition. I really do. No date in Fortnite's next update. You'll see added to that too. But that is that, people. Now, what I also believe this update has done is added the L-Star into the game. Interestingly, people who have been reset by the bug and have EA access, as we know, you get five free Apex packs with EA access. But because they've been reset, they get these three packs a game. A lot of people are reporting that they are getting L-Star skins from these packs like the image we see on screen now so the owl star is no doubt ready to go live people so expect that over the next few weeks that is for sure but yeah guys just a quick update on the latest news surrounding apex of legends there hasn't been much news as of late but as always i'll keep you guys covered on anything else that drops but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really does help out if you are new around here and enjoy daily apex legend videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that about button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one